uh, we're about to look at what we do up right here. I'll just, I'll go over it as we go through it. Delta team, capture the objective. So if you double stun middle, um, I got stun off break, and I didn't stun anything middle, so mainly my teammate died right off break, and they get a team kill. So right here we have two guys watching loading side, and I'm, I'm now I'm the last guy live loading, so I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be really patient on this. Um, my teammate gets a kill middle, so at that point that was a situation where this was the last player alive. If I could have got if I could have gotten in and get this kill right here, um, I could have got we could have got full map control at that point. So. But I, I, Big Cam got a good angle on me and killed me before I was able to get in. So that was a, that was a kill he had to make as a player. If he didn't make that kill, we were pushing through. As you can see, whoever was pushing front door right here would have got in, and then I would have gotten alone inside. That would have been hell for them. So right here, uh, I spawn. Right here is okay. People who were just talking about, uh, I saw a question, was. Let's see, it says, how do you avoid getting spawn trap? By not all dying at the same time is mainly the first thing you can do. And the second thing you can do is being really aggressive on loading side when you can. So this is a situation where there's no one really at my base yet. If I run out and die, my teammates are going to spawn and they can be in a defensive posture. So to the point where if I if I would have ran out here and I would have died before I like, get into this area, it wouldn't have been the end of the world because then uh, my teammates were on spawn. So... So, by me pushing here, I kind of like prevent them from pushing to our loading side. So, it gives my teammates a chance to spawn. And uh, as you can see, an aide flew by there, so I knew it was a sidewalk, and he like pre fired me somehow. I don't know, it was really weird. But regardless, it gives my chance. As long as you don't give them your loading side, you're not going to get spawn trapped. So, that was, that was, that was, that's, that, those are plays you have to make as an individual. And as soon as you can get out of your base from loading side, you have to take advantage of it. Let's say you're getting spawn trapped. And you, you you just kill two guys. You have to try and make it make take the, take advantage of those two kills. Because if you if you let them sit at your loading side, they're gonna keep spawning loading, and it's gonna be ne you're never gonna end. So the best thing you can do to get out of a spawn trap is a guy push. As you can see right there, we just saw Scumby kill a guy sidewalk. You want to have a guy push sidewalk, and then you want to try and and push out through the the loading side as you get kills. The 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 focus on sidewalk is to try and prevent the reinforcement. So. Let's say there's they're, they're set up loading side watching your loading door. You can't really run out. If if that player runs sidewalk, can get those kills. Can get let's say let's say the guy watching middle. He gets the kill and get watching middle. Every kill you get loading side has to worry about Scumpy off spawn because he's sidewalk. So that's that's the top process behind it. That's how you that's how you get that's how you get out of that that loading spawn trap the most you can. So you can see right now I just had a teammate kill a guy loading. So Scumpy's gonna be really aggressive. Um, as he, as we have two teammates. As you can see, I have two teammates uh, focusing on loading right now. <clears throat> it's kind of pointless for me to just run up behind them. So right here, I'm gonna just I'm I'm kind of like focusing on middle a little bit. I was making sure no one was coming behind me before I pushed on the door. And as you can see right now, I saw I got there, and then two players ended up getting some underground spawns at that point. So um, I got called out by that, and the Jeep guy is eventually gonna kill me. He's on a really hard ass angle kill. So we get three dead right here. This is a tough situation for us. Um, all right, last player here. They they call he. Or I call out pushing middle actually because he was there's two guys middle so it's like my throat is getting dry. So that was a situation where two guys were middle so it was obvious they're gonna push middle so Merc did a good play by running back to our flag and trying to cut off that that play that uh, that player was pushing our middle for and that usually when a player pushes middle it means you're gonna get loading side spawn so as you can see right here we're this is a tough spot. This is a spot where we're all dead and they can be pushing from both sides. So mainly I just try and get stuns on my flag. And we got really lucky with a dome spawn there. So that pretty much like as you can see right here, like my teammate literally spawned inside. Scum just spawned inside dome when he's pulling the flag. And that's just that's just the randomness of dome. That's what I was talking about earlier when I was saying um, Lockdown is really a good map to slay on because when you slay you usually win. But this is a map where they had all four of us down. <coughs> And we still get spawns that are able to stop the flag, which is fucking retarded. Like, they should have got away with a flag here. And as a playwright, like, that was a tough call for me to make. Like, off this spawn right here, as you can see, there's no one alive on my map. So, I, I there's two guys middle. If those two guys decided to push middle, my entire team's going to be spawning loading. But since that only one guy spawned middle, and he was already in our base as my team was just spawning, my team is going to spawn middle side. So, 
by knowing that like by knowing that situation now obviously i didn't know that beforehand but if i would have known that i would have probably just stayed live loading side and try and get a kills there but at this point even by even then we're not getting the flag out they still get loading control so it's not it's not the worst situation but actually scum gets a really important kill there on badly and you see scum just just blazes out this is what you have to do to avoid the spawn trap if you fucking get clutch kills like scum just did right here so he gets a flag guy and then he just fucking drop shots the second guy and this one he gets two kills he's able to run out and he challenges he even challenges the third guy but by him running out we're gonna spawn inside our dome and then we're able to run out of our base and then we completely avoided that spawn trap in that bad situation and this is the sidewalk play I was talking about earlier. Um, right here, I was just making sure no one's pushing behind me. As you see me and Big Time are on sidewalk. They're going to have a really hard time pushing out a loading right here. So, I get two right here. I'm going to push in and try and get a third one. And, uh, possibly to uh, to try and get in their base, but I don't. Here, I shouldn't have been. That was a really bad play on my part. Two of my teammates just died. I had an ace here. I felt like I could challenge the bad guy, but that was, that was not the best of plays. Uh, and Big Time gets the barrel kill. And actually... Uh, Merc gets a second kill. That, those are not kills that the other team was expecting. This is why Dome is random. Here, I'm even going to look at where. You see, Freedom is... They're both sidewalk. They were both pushing out middle because they had two guys in their base. They weren't expecting... They weren't expecting those two players in their base to die. But we got a lucky barrel kill, and then Merc got a good drop shot on Drassel trying to throw a stun. So, just by that, that gives us base... That's just complete control of their base. And... At this point, two guys did spawn sidewalk, but we have control of the base at this point, so both teams are in def defensive posture right here. And at this point, I should have been probably backing up to my flag, but since we were in the base, the last two players were spawning in the middle, so I decided to push up. So, uh, right here, I get a, that was a really important kill for my team, as uh, if I would have died of that, that would have been pretty much a sure cap as they would have been spawning their base. And there, I was actually really lucky not to die, and this... I'm in a good situation right here. Um, Big Timer gets a really good kill on their base. They pull the flag. One guy's off spawn and one guy's in their underground. So this is one thing I want to I want to focus on. Earlier we were talking about um, um, we were talking about um, the the importance of, of communication. Um, the communication is important because it gives you perfect. It gives you knowledge of what's going on, and you only can make right decisions by knowing. No, the right decision is by by knowing what's going on on the map. So, right here, like I probably called out fly guy, gun spawn, we killed the guy in their base. So, at this point, we had one dead, and the three of them were on the ground base. So, we're we're gonna be really aggressive on these guys right here because they're they're stuck in their base. As big camera's gonna get a pull, and here I get a really clutch return, and I I didn't ever get that kill, but we get at this point it's four dead, and this is a heads up play. Okay, this is a play where. These are situations you have to understand as a player is when whenever there's a stalemate situation and you push the flag, it's the same thing on both sides of this map. Let's say, so the thing I'm talking about here is we're running the flag middle. We're not running the flag hallway like, like it is normally. They're going to be getting, they're gonna be getting inside spawns. We have two guys, me and Merc were underground, so they had absolutely no way they were going to spawn there. What's the other spawn? Dome, or loading spawn. Loading spawn in inner base. So, at this point, you're gonna see we're gonna see your flags running middle, and we're all gonna rotate towards loading. It's actually almost easier to cut off a loading spawn. And at this point, I knew they were middle, and they actually get a really clutch nade there. Uh, <clears throat> as I was saying, they're gonna get loading spawns and inside their base spawns. Probably one or two guys got a loading spawn, and then one guy spawned on their flag peg. So that flag peg guy was had a really easy way of getting stuns on their on the middle, and he got a really clutch nade of two piece. So. I think we're falling right here. He's gonna try and kill that guy. He gets a little bit of kill on it. And that's this is the play that they made wrong. This was this was a, a bad management on their part. They went for the flag first and not the return. We're gonna look. They had all day long for this return. I'm sure. And look, we have so we have this play right here. Whoever this is, Big Cam should have been booking it for the return. <clears throat> Merc is still the only player alive for my team. Big Cam is in, is in their base. I don't know what he's trying to do. He pulls the fly, but he, he does not go for the return. It's it's a 0-0 zero, zero game. There's... How much time there's left to this side? There's a minute 55 left, and they were on good side. Like, they pretty much gave us a flag here. Because they're pulling, like, the flag's at our base, and, like, if you think about it, like, they have to run all the way back with their flag. So, 
and they they have he could have took three extra steps for that return and he did not and then he tries to challenge with the flag and that's just, and then they didn't hit those shots so that just ended that for them that was that was mindless that was those are the type of plays those are the type of mistakes you cannot make on dome those, those are like situational plays that happen a lot and a lot of the a lot of the game winning flags end up being that way on this map so you have to you, you always have to return is always more important than a flag cap Unless, let's say, unless they were down like, <clears throat> unless there's like 20 seconds left and they were down a flag. So instead of like, he had no chance of, jeez, I'm talking too much. Like he had, if he would have went for the turn, he had no chance of cap out because he would have got stunned and killed. But that's still a situation where um, they, they didn't need that flag. So he should have, he should have for sure 100% went for that, that, that flag return. And he did not, and we ended up getting a flag cap because of that. So at this point, we have a guy front door, and there I get a really quick knife kill. Um, right here, I'm just making sure uh, they don't get, they didn't get loading or mid map spawns. Never get too dead. At this point, I got, I should have been more careful there. I should have been going back to loading uh, for a simple reason. Scumpy ran out their front door, so. They could have easily got loading spawns. I'm actually going to check this for a hell of it. Actually, they didn't. They, we got lucky on that. Um, one of this game hits us enough to make to make a small loading, but it didn't at that point, and we got away with it. But that was like a really weird rotation on our part. I always want to go over that. That wasn't at this point. We should have been more effective on our rotation. Um, Scumpy should have been backing up a flag, and I should have been pushing middle at this point. So as you can see, I was loading the entire time to make sure. Scumpy should have been backing up a flag and watching his back, and then I was the one covering middle at this point. But Scumpy, or who was front door? I'm not sure it's Scumpy or not. I'm pretty sure it is Scumpy at that point. Yeah, Scumpy decided to push the front door and be really aggressive, which is, it ended up being good, but it's just, that that was like a risky play. Because if you look on the minimap right now, Scumpy's front door, and I'm pretty sure there's still a guy on spawn. Actually, no, they were all spawned. That's why we got lucky here. Because they were already all spawned, and the last two were, the last two just died. So, let's say this player right here was, wasn't already spawned. He would have spawned loading right behind our flag guy. So that was just, that was like a risky play that we shouldn't have made. Because there's a minute left. And we're already up, we're already up a flag on that side. And that would have been up 2-0 if we got that. We ended up getting the flag anyways. But <clears throat> if they would have stopped that, that would have been a 2-0 for us. And you want to go, if you go up two flags on that side, obviously it puts you in a good position to win the map. I also want to. Um, there's one thing that I've. There's there's a few things that I started understanding in this game is, in certain situations, um, it's good to challenge, but in certain other situations, it's really important to stay alive, uh, especially on dome. Whenever you're loading side, let's say you're out loading, you're 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 alive. You can just pretty much hide, and let them set up. Like let's say, here example, we're getting spawn killed right now, and I get to this area right here, and a lot of people like I see, especially big time and myself. We always end up being behind his tractor, and let's say you're the last man alive on this side. You're, you're, the most you're gonna get here is trading a kill for a kill. So, and that's not a good play in this situation. So, one thing that I suggest for everyone who is in this situation, um, let me explain the situation for those who don't understand what I'm talking about. There, the other team's on your loading side, and you're, you're on dome side, and you're the last one alive. And let's say there's three guys pushing in front of you right here, um, and a lot of people end up challenging. Like you'll be behind his tractor and trying to get kills. That's that's not good in my opinion. That's like you're just asking to get a kill for a kill. So I think laying down behind this area right here is a good play. Just let him let him push up, let him set up, and if you at that point you can you can pretty much assure yourself a kill, and you also have the ability of making it, of of making a better play out of it because they're not going to be expecting it most of the time, and they're going to be worrying about you even more because they're they at that point normally they only have to worry about one guy, but if you let your teammate spawn and then you're out there. They have to worry about two angles you can push from. So that's a play people. I think people should start <clears throat> be more effective on. And that's one thing that, I, in my opinion, I'm going to be starting a lot more. Is whenever I'm in a situation like that, I'll be more, I'll be more prompt to just camping and stay alive behind a wall than just challenging and getting a kill for a kill, because that kill really doesn't give you much. Because they still get, they still end up getting load control, and that that player you kill end, ends up spawning dome side, so, or I mean the loading side. Alright, that was the end of the first side. 
Uh, I'm going to be running an ad and just post your questions and I'll answer them 